It's family first at the holidays. Oh, God, it's Mom again. Put it on speakerphone. I want to hear her beautiful voice. Ah, Michael, there's a hole in the window. There's going to break it. Get over here. I'm leaving now. Sounds tense. That means she's not getting any from my brother, Oscar. Lovely. That's nice. I heard about the banana stand, and now there's been a break in. But I have a surprise for whoever it is if he comes back. First I blow him, then I poke him. Guy has no idea what he's in for. You know, Mom, all the glass seems to be on the outside. Plus, here's your little statue. So I guess what this says to me is... I doubt anyone was trying to break in, Mom. If anything, someone was trying to break out. Where is Oscar? Oh, he's on his walkabout or pilgrimage. Every year, Oscar attempts the 420-mile walk from Newport Beach to Berkeley, California. In the 12 years he's attempted this, he's never made it past UC Irvine. He calls it a quest to recharge his chi. I call it an excuse for him to score his pot and wag his pickle at co-eds. You sound mad, Mom. Mad enough to throw one of these little lady heads at him. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it just, you know, maybe you're a little bit lonely and you're acting uh -huh. out for attention. Oh, that's ridiculous. I want you to move in with me. What? No. 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 No, 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 no. Didn't you adopt a child for this very reason so that you would never be alone? Michael, mother doesn't have a child to give herself company. Anyang was to teach Buster a lesson. And where is that little lesson? I sent him to the Milford Academy to teach him a lesson. I can't remember about what. And Buster left this morning to finish his army training. In fact, Lucille had refused to drive him to the army base, so Buster was taking his very first bus ride. I can't change a hundred. No. Oh, God. God. Oh. And that's when Buster saw something interesting. That could be good for Army. <laughs> Michael started to become relaxed. And a short time later, his mother arrived anything but. Someone broke in again. The liquor is gone. All of it gone. In fact, Job had stolen it earlier that day to cut down on the cost of the party. Hey, need a hand with that? No, well, I want to spill booze all over my... I'm all alone there, Michael. You know, Buster's only stationed about five miles away. In fact, Buster never went to the Army. He'd gotten hooked playing the skill crane and missed his first day. Somewhat ashamed and with nowhere to go, he returned home. Buster! Thank God you're back! There's no shame in being a coward. A coward? I'm not a coward. Would a coward have this? What the hell is that? These are my words, Mother, from Army. The seal is for marksmanship, and the gorilla is for sand racing. You're doing well? I was just dropping these off. Now, if you'll excuse me, they're putting me in something called Hero Squad. You have no idea what it's like to be abandoned by your son. Do you see my son? He chose his girlfriend over me. Oh, well, the worm has turned. Look who feels the sting of an ungrateful child. Mother, you have to receive something to be ungrateful. The point is, I'm not getting worked up over it tonight. I'm not going to let anything bother me. Good. I'll get a drink and then go home and wait for you to come stay with me. Thank God they've got my brands here. This was an unacceptable solution. Hey, uh, Tobias, it's Michael. I hope you get this. I need you to go over to my mother's tonight. Unfortunately, Tobias missed the call from the Bluth company, and it went through to Michael's home voicemail. The Blue Men! You have 101 unheard messages. First message. Michael, it's your mother. Michael, pick up. Happy Thanksgiving. Michael, it's mother. Michael, pick up. Hey, uh, Tobias, it's Michael. I hope Bluth you get this. Company. 